almost ready to do this pickup video? What are you doing? Are you ready for the promo? I'm ready. Yeah, you are. Uh, did you forget anything? No, I'm good. You're completely ready. You don't need anything else. No, I've got games. I got my shirt. I've got my coffee. I'm ready to go. Let's do it. Scott and I are wash and wear t-shirt kind of people. Nothing fancy here, but when we can combine quality with comfort and catchy vibrant designs, that's our sort of fancy. Within the first week of receiving these, I wore all of them. And I can tell you from my own personal experience, they come out of the wash looking as good as the day we got them. And if you're worried about shrinkage, the 6040 cotton polyester blend has you covered. If you think they're just for that special guy in your life, I speak for the ladies when I say, there is nothing better than a men's t-shirt for ultimate comfort. The print is fantastic, the material is lightweight and tagless, and being an artist myself, I appreciate the design aesthetic and the addition of the brand logo is a perfect signature touch I'm proud to wear on my left hip. For the bulk buyer, and who doesn't like a one-stop shop, you can take advantage of a bundle deal. Graphic tees 3 for 60 or the perfect lot of basic tees 3 for $49.95. Whether you use our discount code at the bottom or have seen this brand on any of the following fantastic YouTube channels and use their discount code, it really doesn't matter to us. We enjoy this brand and simply want you to be able to take advantage of 10% site-wide and get your Into the AM gear today. And while you're at it, maybe buy some bottoms to complete the look so you don't embarrass yourself or your wife on camera. You know they also sell underwear and pants, right? They do. Yeah. All right guys, so now that Scott has some pants on, we can do a pickup video because that shit's just distracting. If you don't have pants on, it's gonna be distracting for me. They don't know if I don't have pants on. I will know. I will know. So, just to get this right out of the way, right off the bat, this is probably our last pickup video of the year. Definitely the year. Definitely the uh, year. And here's the plan. Here's, yes. This is why. We have a goal of going to siege next year. It's going to happen. It's, going to it's happen. not a goal. Yes. It's going to happen. But, you know, life throws you curveballs. There's no curveballs. We're going. And <laughs> our second vehicle, my my Jeep, is uh, going to be going bye bye. I'm He's going to go to Jeep there. heaven. Yeah, like, uh, it's. Uh, 2001 yeah so it's just getting to a point where uh, it doesn't make sense to continue to dump money into it which means we'll have another car payment uh, yeah so i need to say yeah so yeah another car payment we're, we're trying to be smart we're going to be smart with the goal that when i go to siege i'm going to get something nice me too but something here that i haven't told jen is we can make it fun especially for our local community you should be posting all your big fines <laughs> online to kind of taunt us. That doesn't mean we necessarily won't get anything. It just means that if we do, then we really have to consider, do we really need it? Do what I, comes out of the collection? What do I trade? At that point. Perler had a good guys doll that I really, really, really wanted. And Scott's like, well, do you have anything to trade for it? And I'm like, do I really need it? <laughs> I really wanted it, but you know, I was like, mm. If it hadn't been a Cheshire cat, like an Alice, oh, yeah. then you know what I mean? Like, so it didn't go, oh crap, I need this, but. So it's there, it might be gone, I don't know. It's probably know. gone. Sorry, last pickup video. <laughs> yeah. Last pickup video. So we're just gonna, it's not a huge pile, but it's not the size that matters. It's what you do with it. <laughs> it's what you do with it. <laughs> so, well, we got four DVDs. Four DVDs. Three DVDs and a Blu-ray. Yeah. Just horror theme, they're real yeah. cheap. We picked up The Crazies. Mm -hmm. Um, I was under the impression I hadn't seen this, and then I started watching it. So I, like, I had to get it. I'm like, you know, we watched this. We watched it. And no, I don't remember. I'm like, Ugh. See, when so, we talk about movies I, I haven't seen. I highly recommend this. If you haven't seen it, I would call it, it kind of has like a Resident Evil theme-ish. If it yeah. were to really happen. I, I just think maybe there's not as much movies I haven't seen as there is. I don't remember them. These two, I don't, I don't know what to think of them. Um, they're both haunting. Um, a haunting a, in Georgia, haunting based on true events. In Connecticut. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't watched them yet, but I'm a sucker for anything in yes. that area of haunted. If you, if Scott had a go-to scary movie, if one theme, of you guys has a haunted house. I will come stay the night. And then the Blu-ray, 
is Ouija. I think this is the first one. I'm not sure. The one I've watched, we watched recently, was uh, Origin of Evil. Yes. Mm -hmm. This yeah, is the really one good. that's not as good. Yeah. So, so I don't even know if I've ever seen it, to be quite honest. Yeah. But the Origin of Evil one is really good. I yep. like that one. There's a few times where it could have ended. I was like, it would have been right, good right there. Yeah. Or right there. But how they ended it was good, too. And I won't spoil it. So the foreplay is done. Yeah. The movies are out of the way. Let's get down oh. to the nitty gritty of it here and we're gonna get into the games and jam wants to do this newest games to oldest games yes because you guys like, seem to like newest games better. to best games that's not necessarily true we'll see not necessarily true so we picked up a multiplayer mm -hmm. couch co-op warhammer chaos bane yeah four player couch co-op gave me the um diablo, diablo vibes. vibes so bit, yeah. um we're gonna play that yeah, right. Rachel, come play games with us again, okay? This one here was given to us. That was, yeah. So I don't know how to pronounce a friend, it. Yeah, I'm going to give it a try. Friend okay. over in Sweden sent me a little care, sent us a care package. Yeah. Sent some really cool stuff for Alex yeah. there. And uh, he sent me some toys, some G.I. Joe's, some games. I don't know what you got. You got the he candies. He got me the damn licorice. You know what? You know what? This candies. is a perfect spot to put that damn li licorice in right here. We're going to pop that in. That is god awful! What the fuck? Why would you put that in your mouth? Oh! 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 I had black Swedish shit! Ah! Oh. It's horrendous! You love them! I got to try one! The aggressive making is usually the four points. Teddy, watch this. I can do it too. <laughs> 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 Swallow it. Swallow it. <laughs> Top it out. Who's eating it? Swallow it. <laughs> Don't be a bitch. Swallow. <laughs> you guys like this? <laughs> Holy shit. If you go to Sweden, you don't go for the licorice. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying right here. Swedish people may say differently. Anunnaki. I think that's probably what it is. It's an RPG. You don't have any yeah, RPGs. Yeah, it gives me that... Uh, <sighs> Tales of Arise kind of vibe. Just by looking at the back art, they're yeah. showing some some of the screens. True. And I loved that game. I know you Tales did. Of Arise. And then we're getting into some limited run stuff. Yes. Sealed. Ease Origin. Yeah. So. Uh, you guys know we're not sealed collectors. I'm gonna open it. Okay. <laughs> this is the thing that I went and bought some games on PS4 that I I might not open. I think they even said when I bought one of them, "You're not gonna open that, are you?" And like, they literally did. Yeah, yeah they not said, "Open that, are you?" <laughs> well, now I'm not gonna. Yeah. I'll probably just get it digitally. This is the other one. The other that one. one this I one's will, yours. That one I'll likely open. Stealth Inc. A Clone in the Dark Ultimate Edition. He just looked like a minion to me, so I was like, "Look at that cute little minion fucker!" I'm gonna, I'm gonna play that game. I don't know what it's about. This is that. How, this is how I operate. Book by its cover, or game by its cover. And then we got a game in from one of the one in the mail. Yes, we did. I'm waiting for this one. Nobody knows about this game. Shredder's, None of you have talked about Shredder's it. Shredder's Revenge. We haven't played it yet. No. <laughs> well, I mean. This I've seen, game, yeah, I've seen, I've seen gameplay, but I'm, I'm not one of those people that are gonna buy the game twice no. and keep it sealed. I'm not buying a digital game to play it day one and then wait for my physical copy and then put it on the shelf and seal. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing that. And then this one's yours. Yeah. Shadow Complex Remastered. Ask me how much I know about it. <laughs> Nothing. Well, no, I do. Showed you gameplay. You showed me gameplay. I was like, oh yep. shit, that's it, really cool. It looks cool. good. It really looks. Yeah, it looks really, really good, and uh, I don't know if I want to open this one. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to keep everything sealed, but then there's, like, you just talked about how you're like, I'll buy it digitally, then put something on the shelf, game. and I'm like, I'm going to do game. that for this one. She's got so many games. I'm willing to bet money. I never get around my play. left nut that she never realized that game. Your left nut's the bad one, anyways. <laughs> I don't know that. No, I don't know. But... It just makes me want to play it more now that he says that. <laughs> You're going to have to wait for a sale for a digital copy. Okay, fine, whatever. One Chanabera, Chaos. <sighs> Tell me what I know of it. I don't know. She's You're in just, a bikini. She's in a bikini. I have the 360 version. Haven't played that one yet either. But... She's in a bikini, and <laughs> she's a samurai, and I think you're fighting. I think you're fighting zombies, but I don't. She's in a bikini. She's in a bikini. 
The, the, the first time, all I know is the first time I seen this at the exact same store, probably a year, maybe a year and a half ago, it was double the price. Yeah. So when I seen it this time, I was like, I'm gonna grab it because I couldn't justify it last time. I'm gonna price. grab it. <laughs> she's in a bikini. She's in a bikini. <laughs> All right, Jenny. Oh, she's. Puppeteer. So here we go. Story time. If drink, no drinks. I'm just gonna call you drinks. Drinks and games with Josh is watching. We just traded Puppeteer to him. And at that time, we only had that one copy. And at that time, I really wanted Scott to have Valkyrie profile. So, anyways. Puppeteer was the only game that I was like, maybe I would have wanted to play that. And then we found it at Parlor for $49.95. Canadian. Canadian. So like $2 okay. US. Um, but yeah, that's a actually really good deal because I think these go on eBay for about $80. Yeah, that's still Canadian. So yes. Probably 60 USD. Yeah. So that's a really good deal. And I was like, I'm I'm gonna. I'm gonna get it. Well, that was one of those games that were okay. We're gonna that we're gonna bring that one back into the collection. I know he really wanted it, and he told yeah. me like if we had that one. So I was like, yeah. hopefully we'll find it for cheap again, and then we did really quick. The so Parlor Pawn has had some pretty high end rare games that I've actually passed on in yeah. the last month or so yeah. because we've been trying to slow down. Oh. Uh, one of them. Maybe even more, but one that comes to my mind was PS3 lot that had Africa in it. Yes, Africa. Very, they also had NES, NES the uh, Princess Tomato. Princess Tomato, I think it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. that one was like a really good deal, but it had a stamped. Um, they burn into the actual cartridge. Yeah. I don't know. I actually have a couple of games in my collection that has that same bee burnt into it. I wonder if it into was... It. I bet you it was a video game rental store or something. Yes, yeah. but like it was $100 cheaper. They wanted $100 less than price charting wanted for it. Yeah. So I was like, shit, someone's gonna get a really good deal on that. As long as they're not anal retentive on yeah. that bee stamp, then it's it's worth it. But it for us, we just I, like, I, I didn't, I'm like, we ah, don't care about that game. one that I really, really want. Yeah. If it would like uh, Power Blade come back or Power Blade 2 yes. loose, I, oh, yeah. I might have to start looking around. Next one. Mm -hmm. I still struggle with this one. How about you try and pronounce that? Atelier. Atelier. Satori? I don't know if that's an S, a T, or an L, or whatever it is. Somebody <laughs> tell me in the comments. <laughs> but it's, it's the it's like kind of a collector's edition big box. Yeah. And uh, it comes with a, a few things in it there. I'm a sucker there. Visual for, art book. Yeah, I'm a sucker for the RPGs there right now. Yeah. And like ever since Tales of Arise, you know, like I've been wanting to collect those Tales oh, style there's games. Oh, there's a music CD in it too. Yeah, the soundtrack. Yeah, soundtrack, awesome. So tell me in the comments, good, bad, ugly. Mm, don't know anything. No, we just can't keep no, it she's there. cute. Yeah. She's not like. Fur-lined bikini cute. No. No, but they can't all be. All right, couple of DS games. These are pretty good DS games. Yeah. All right, Jen. Let's play Read the Roman Numerals. I can do it. Dragon Quest. Four. Oh. I just... He's giving me shit because I said IV. I had a blonde moment. The bleach went straight to my brain. And I yeah. said IV. And I didn't mean it. I know so, what it is. Like I know it's all, it's all their book, Normal. everything there. These don't come up very often, Dragon no. Quest ones. So this, you did miss one, though. I did miss one. This yeah. wasn't even the one that I was after, I don't think. I think it was... Was it? No. It was six. I think you won. Yeah, they, they had uh, posted it on their daily deals. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I'd like to have that. And I'm at work, so I tell Jen to contact them. Yeah. And then they put... Dragon Quest games aside from me, I'm like, oh. But I think games? they they said they never they that one was already gone by the time yeah. the other one by the time I contacted yeah. them. Yeah, so. And then. And then the other then, the other Dragon Quest game that came in. Nine. Uh, nine. 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 <laughs> See, I know Roman. This numbers. one is not nearly as expensive as that one. No. Um, I don't know. I really don't know a whole lot of it. I've been looking. I go down that rabbit hole of RPGs and. Uh, Dragon Quest now is one of those ones I gotta try to collect for. I gotta be honest with you before we keep going. I looked up the Roman numerals before we started. <laughs> no, I didn't! I'm just kidding. <laughs> but he totally believed I did. Last game. And it's a good one. It's a good one. Breath of Fire. 
SNES copy in the mm -hmm. box. I don't have a huge collection of uh, boxed games, but I was actually looking for a copy of this mm -hmm. and number two, loose, because I just I want to play them. Mm -hmm. But this was there, and I was like, ooh, ooh, I seen it in the and shelf. And then I said, I thought you were looking for that loose, though. Oh, yeah, I want to play it, And then he but, said, but. oh, okay. And then I felt bad. I was like, but you should get it. You should get it. And so I went to the counter. I'm like, he wants Breath of Fire. I felt so freaking bad. So I knew he wanted it because he was like a kid at a candy mm -hmm. store. So there's the price. Yeah. That's Canadian dollars. Canadian. So I think I'm missing the, uh, the little, the little box. Yeah, yeah, cardboard insert that yeah. holds the game in. I bet one of those over there have one. They all have them. I know, but what, like, NHL 94? Does it need the insert? Don't ask Dennis that! <laughs> <laughs> like, let's be serious. <laughs> NHL 94 there's, sucks, Dennis. There's, there's, there's uh, <laughs> Tecmo Super Baseball. It probably yeah. would be a little lower yeah. on the scale than NHL 94, but, you know. So there. That's it. It's not a big stack. It's not. But it's not the size. It's what you do with <laughs> it's it. It's what you do with it. We're going to play it. You them. finish strong. You always finish strong. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to show a, a sad little clip right here of our empty shelf of where we store our pickups and the fact that it'll probably be empty except for the toys that are on there, which I don't know why they're on there. This is not the toy room. I got to clean them. You've had those since like I'm lazy. Mid -summer. I'm procrastinate. Okay, what do you fine. Want whatever. Do? Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching our last makeup of the year. Maybe. I don't sad know. Music. Sad music. Sad music. Yeah, like sad little violin music. I'm not sure. Yeah. Scott hugging his Jeep saying goodbye. Yeah. I know you all. All right, guys. Until next time. Game on. Do you want to chug coffee? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Did you forget anything? No. I'm good. Nothing. Ah, enough. Okay. You don't. You don't have to do. You don't need to do anything else. There's nothing you forgot. No, I got the games. I got my shirt. Got my coffee. I'm ready to go. <laughs> I like it. <laughs>